This is Allie. I get asked all the time about single family investing versus multifamily investing. And I haven't told you that I'm a complete PowerPoint nerd and I'll take any excuse on the planet to do something in PowerPoint. So here's a pros and cons weighing of single family versus multifamily. Purchase price. It's more advantageous for the multifamilies. It is cheaper per unit due to the common areas, the common walls, all that. So per unit, it will be cheaper. So multifamily wins. Maintenance costs, uh, similar reasons, common walls, common areas per unit and everything standard usually. You can get everything at a cheaper price when you buy in mass and with the common walls you just don't have, well, as many single walls to fix. Location, this is location of the units. It's more advantageous for multifamily because everything is together in one building most likely. Single family could be scattered all over the place. Maybe they're all in the same subdivision, but still it's not the same building so the location is not as great over there. Management, still similar because everything is together. Most likely with the multifamily, you have the same manager, same everything going on for the property, everything in the same walls. And management with a single family, you can use a single manager, no problem, but he's going to be running around probably all over the place and it's just not all together in one batch, which includes the paperwork. So Multifamily, if you're talking more than four units or even less than that, probably everything's under the same company name. It's all going to fit better, whereas the single families, everything is single deeds. Vacancies. Multifamilies rock because if one unit's empty, the income from another unit can make up for it, so no loss on your side. Whereas the single family, if it's vacant, well, it's vacant and you have no income. Returns. These both get a star because it depends on the market you are buying in. Make sure you are up on the returns. Most people think that multifamilies will always get higher returns and it's not the case. Oftentimes single families will get higher returns than a multifamily. So by the time you spend way more on a multifamily to get lower returns than single family homes, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So it depends on the market that you're in and look at it carefully. Financing, they also both get stars. They both have different advantages. Single families, you can get traditional mortgages if you qualify. Those terms are unbeatable. You cannot get cheaper interest rates or just general terms on a loan than with a mortgage. Multifamily, however, if it's more than four units, you're talking a commercial property, which lets you get commercial loans, which is great if you don't qualify for a mortgage, which so many of us don't anymore. The bummer about that is the terms are usually more expensive and not as advantageous, but Again, one loan is better than no loans. Tenant quality is often higher in single families. Typically in apartments, you're talking slightly lower income. Most people only live in apartments because it's all they can afford, unless you're like me and live in Venice Beach, and no normal human can afford much out here. Okay, well, a lot can, but for the most part, it's more standard for people to live in multifamilies out here than it would be to say in Atlanta or anywhere. But in general, it's not always true. Tenant quality does tend to be higher in the single families, which can contribute positively to your returns. Again, with the tenants, most people don't live in apartments for the long haul. It's not their goal to end up in an apartment for the rest of their life. So they tend to move out. You're going to get more transient tenants. Single family homes, they may stay in there forever. People do strive to live in a home. and If they can't buy one, they may stay in your rental property forever. Single families are amazing for exit strategy. You can sell to primary homeowners, which is the best way to get the most amount of money from a sale. Multifamilies, you're going to be selling to an investor, and what do all of us investors want? A deal. And last but not least, they're both fun. That's really what matters at the end of the day. They can both cause headaches or not cause headaches or put returns in your pockets or not put returns. So weigh it all out, figure out your goals, try and get the highest returns, and have fun with it. All right?